discover. And he says, sometimes our technology expertise has seemed to top our moral capacity to use this expertise for the good of humanity. Well, we've been experiencing that in spades of late. I think people think that when they're on technology or using technology, it's like as if nobody is really listening or can get at me and I can say and be and do what I like. And people do. And that's why we always caution each other here. Whatever it is that is difficult for you to share with another or others, do not press the button, send, before you've left a space between the time you have, sent, you have uh, composed the message and the time you're going to send it. Many a person regrets pressing that button. Many a person. We have a capacity to feed all, and yet millions serve or starve because we seem to lack the moral and political will to do what we know is right and what we can do. Well, the question for us is, do we lack moral and political will to help and empower other people who are in need? It's a good question to think about. And I mean, this man is very, he, he's as non-political as he possibly can be in everything he shares. He's a man of the cloth, as my mother would say. I mean, he's, a, he's a, an Episcopalian priest. And um, he, he does what he does, and he does it very well with full heart. And he says, harmony, friendliness, community are great goods. Social harmony is for us the sunum bonum. It's the sunum bonum, and that is the greatest good for all. The sunum bonum. What is the sunum bonum in your life? What is the greatest good in your life? So it's the greatest good for all. Anything that subverts, that undermines this sought-after good is to be avoided like the plague. And then he says, anger, resentment, lust for revenge, even success through aggressive competitiveness are corrosive of the sunum bonum, the great good for all. So there's always much to be considered. I mean, these are not things that we don't come to ourselves. I could go on and on, but it's, it's very lovely. You know, you get pictures and then big writing and then just a thought to think about on every page. And it's just called Believe by Desmond Tutu. And there's one by Martin Luther King, too. This is the same series. And I believe Gandhi and others. And the call for you and for me every